All right, guys, the video is already starting. There is no augment yet. It will come later. Actually, two of them will come in this uh, thingy, but look what we got here, guys. We're freaking back. Six, two, that's fine. I will sell everything else. So as you can see, I'm level four because I pre-leveled. In hopes I would find 15% chance for the blue units, which can be Zoe or... No, I think I'm losing this, right? I, I was so afraid I would win, but he is playing a uh, trick shot at least. I'm not playing. I'm not playing any synergy. He's at least playing trick shot, so I should lose this. Whoa, so close. Let's go. Ooh, I don't know why he's playing such a weak board. But anyway, so um, yeah, we are on the very usually very annoying encounter. I do not like that encounter, and I don't think this game will change my mind. Because, yeah, we have two augments here, but I don't think we care. Hold up. So, we are on the Lilia encounter, which moves all augments into a random round, which wouldn't be that bad by itself, but it also removes portals from the game, which is the bad part, right? That is why I'm not a fan of these start of game encounters, usually, unless there's something fun, right? Like, Teemo can give everyone a spatula. That's basically a portal, right? So, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, the problem with this game is I don't actually want two augments here. Because from what I know, uh, augments from stage two and onward, uh, from stage three and onward, are tailored towards your traits. So, here, the augments being still in stage two, they cannot give me a fortune emblem, or they don't have a higher chance to give me a fortune emblem. So that's why I would prefer it to be stage 3. Now, the good news is you can get the start of game augments. The augments that can only happen at the start of the game. 4, that's not bad. Uh, am I supposed to play this Tristana? I feel like I am. He's level 4 now as well. He's level 4 now as well. Okay, I mean, people are strong enough. He's playing 2-2 two, two stars. He's playing decently strong something. Should be fine. Should be fine. Um, so you can get the start of game augments. Um, at stage 2, right? So there's certain start of game augments like Metabolic Accelerator. You know? The one that heals you every turn. You cannot get that later. You cannot get that at stage 3. Because why would you take it at stage 3? You already missed out on your entire early game of healing your tactician, right? It would just be a bad augment at that point, so they just removed it from later stages. So I could actually get that. I could actually get that here because it just looks at stage two and thinks, okay, you're in stage two. There is no Zoe. If I get a two-star Tristana, I think it's too strong. So I'm not gonna get the two-star Tristana. Okay. Not too shabby. So we will, um, we might get Metabolic Accelerator, I don't know. That'll be good. Uh, Tiniest Titan, of course, but you can get that later as well. Um, Tiny Titans, you can get that later as well, right? Any, any of these, any of these kind of augments. Uh, it's definitely not Escort Crest. Built Different. Am I down for Built Different? Nah, I'm not. Uh, support cash, salvage bin, boiling point. I mean, I have to just take this, right? There's nothing else to take, guys. Really nothing else to take, man. These other augments choices were kind of trash. Okay, we're trying to get a big old cash out. Let's see if it works. See this thing. Metabolic accelerator. That would have been nice for us. We will still get another chance. Next augment is already coming up. <laughs> back to freaking back. Back to back. He has a duelist emblem. This Yasu will beat me up for sure. Okay, that's fine. We're losing a lot of health, right? Because we're very weak. But there is some very weak players in the lobby. So we do not want to accidentally win a fight. That would be terrible. I would have enjoyed killing this Darius, though, to save some HP, but 77 health is not bad. 
Honestly, not too bad. For a 4, Lost Streak, pretty, very good. Fine Vintage. Are we down, guys? I think we're down, man. Yeah, we're down, guys. Come on. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, I think we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Chinese freaking ZZ Rock Kong. Chinese ZZ Rock Kong, guys. Let's go. If you haven't seen it yet, I already have a video on it. Basically, you just spam a bunch of ZZ Rot thingies. ZZ Rot portals, and then you just buff them up with Heavenly. Like a freaking boss, guys. It is absolutely hilarious. So we will just play a million Heavenly units. All of them. Literally all of them. We will buff up our little Void cockroaches. And uh, we will just win the game. It's very OP, it's gonna get nerfed tomorrow, so it's probably my last chance I can uh, play this, so I'm actually very happy to play it. I know I've uploaded it a couple times already, but I definitely wanna take the chance to play it. If I am given the chance. Who am I missing for, for, for this? Nico, I always forget about Nico. Alright. Uh, I do have to get a little bit stronger here, don't I? I feel like I will lose otherwise. I think this should be fine, though. I think the Lee Sin can carry this, right? Come on, Lee Sin. You're a big boy, right? You're a good boy, right, Lee Sin? You're Lee Sin, man. You're a good boy, right? We need to make our item instantly. I'll explain how this works, just in case you haven't seen the other videos. Come on. There we go. We make this item instantly, so it's already on the bench. Because it needs to marinate for three turns. And then we'll turn into support anvils. And uh, those three turns, you know, that was now already one turn. Because I already marinated it. For one turn. So you need to be a little bit quick there. To get it done. But to get it done, you get it done. And now we will put in heavenly. Oh, there's no augment here. Okay. Okay. Because if the next augment was the next stage, we could get a bonus thingy. Now, let me just check if I can play the Lee Sin. I am not willing to play the Lee Sin. I'm a little bit scared because this guy is extremely freaking weak. This guy over here is extremely freaking weak. He is playing Fortune. Ah, he is playing Fortune. That's okay. I'm sure we'll be able to lose somehow. He has a two-star Kobuko. I don't, so I should be able to lose. We're marinating our support items. It's gonna be a fun one, man. Because we'll have a lot of items. Because we have um, a fortune cash out. That can potentially give us a lot of items. Push your luck like a Babu. Six. Five. Perfect. Per freaking fact. Okay, so the priority is ZZ Rot. Greater than Aegis, greater than Randuins. ZZ Rot two times already. That's really lucky. This comp is very strong. This comp is very strong, but it is prone to uh, being unlucky. If you get very unlucky and you just don't get any ZZ Rot, you always have four choices per support anvil. But if you don't get any ZZ Rot, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. You will lose the game. You will straight up lose. But if you do get at least three, ideally four ZZ Rot portals, double or triple Aegis, and their last recipe is one needlessly big gem for the bonus damage because you have so much frontline then with the ZZ Rot. You just want the bonus percentage damage to your whole team. If you do get all of that, you will win the game. See? Here, we got nothing. We got nothing, for example. So we just have to take a Shroud. Which at least gives our team 60 health as well, right? See, that, that is, for example, a little bit unlucky. But we're still in a good spot. Where is the fortune guy? This guy just leveled. I don't need to do that anymore. And then as a last unit, you play a beautiful Irelia, guys. Irelia is going to be your carry. 
Because Irelia is really good at carrying, you know? Uh, if you have infinite frontline. So eventually you want to build a Ginsu's for her. Just the Ginsu's and you're good to go, guys. Mm, so how many more do I have to lose? Three? I do have to get a little bit really stronger. I do have to get a little bit stronger. I need to kill some units. Maybe I can pop a ZZ Rod. <clears throat> I will just take a 4 cost here. There is no any, unfortunately. There's a Zoe, but I need an any for 5 fortune, so there's no point taking that. Okay, so how many more do I have to lose? How many more do I have to lose? Uh, I just push my luck here, so it's one, two, so three more, right? One. Wait, is it one, two, three? Oh, am I am I catching out at wolves? I think I'm catching out one after wolves. No. I think I fought two. Wait, am I catching out at wolves? Three more. I think this is gonna be really easy then. No. Okay, I shouldn't play too much of this garbage. Okay, I need to get a little bit stronger. This guy is really strong now. Okay, I can get quite a bit stronger. Don't think I'll play as easy, Rod. <clears throat> we killed this uh, Nico. We're good. One. I think this one is not a fight, right? This is another. Need to cash out after the freaking things, but I can win the last one. It's just gonna nerf my cash out a little bit. It's not a big deal if I win the last fight because I do need to win the last fight, right? Otherwise, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, we're cutting it a little bit close here. <laughs> we might actually die. Working out with set does nothing. I need to scout my potential opponents. Um, this guy's still in my pool. We just fought this guy. Okay, I mean, everyone is r quite strong. This guy is looking a little bit weak. This guy is looking very strong now. Everyone is quite strong, aren't they? I can definitely make this two-star. I can buy this. Okay, I, I think I can go for a ZZ Rot. I think I can go for one ZZ Rot. This guy is very strong, bro. But is he trying to lose or what is he doing? Is he gonna sell his Teemo? I mean, I can't really play around that if he sells his Teemo. If he does that, I can't really do much. This guy got a two-star Shen. We should be fine. We should still lose. It's ghostly Senna that is extremely strong of a comp. And the two-star Shen is really tanky. Two-star Tristana with no items either. Did we win? The ghostly ghosts are gonna jump. Ah, she's focusing the Teemo first. We won! Ah, it's so hard to like judge perfectly, right? It's very difficult. Oh well, we will nerf our cash out by quite a bit here. But uh, it is just so risky there, right? 26 health. I needed to roll a 4. If I rolled a 4, I could have just full opened. I'll be fine. A little bit unfortunate, but there's really not much we can do about that. Because the other people are so strong, they would still absolutely smash me. Just a little bit unlucky matchmaking there. And we go up against the Shen guy. He even hit 2-star Shen. Oh well, that is, that is unfortunately just something we gotta do. That is something we had to gamble. Nice, we're marinating the items. Both. That is gigantic. That is ginormous, seriously. Okay, we're marinating those items. Uh, I want to lose this one because I don't want to nerf my... Uh, the lock penalty is 10%, so I'm going to lose 10% of my stacks, right? We do not want to lose 10% of our stacks. We are going to go level 8. If we find a Wukong, we win the game instantly. One star Bard, one star Tom Kench. 
Has an altruist emblem, though. If we win, it's not that big of a deal, because then I can just greed and go level... Uh, you know, I, I can just be greedy and go level 8 quickly. But I think we're losing. Can we kill the Tom Kench as well? 14 health is really bad. <laughs> okay. We might actually die here, because I don't have enough stuff. I don't have enough stuff yet. Oh, the Vision's Crown is really good, though. Um... I surely we're fine. He found an I really odd level seven. I should have rolled. I I might be dead. I might be dead, man. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I might be freaking dead. If we're not dead, we can roll next turn. I got dizzy. Okay, we're not dead. We're not dead. Huh. <laughs> we need these to turn. We need these to turn. We already cooked one. We cooked another one. Is this the last one? This might be the this might be the third one. Okay, we we might get two two ZZ rods here, and then we're definitely fine. Okay. Oh freak! There was still other rewards on the ground. I didn't even notice. I think I gotta take the ages first. Okay, triple ages is pretty insane already. Having that this early is very very freaking insane. I am not gonna lie, guys. That's huge. Getting getting Wukong is huge. Uh, I do need some two stars. I do need some two stars. Remember, the heavenly bonus scales with two stars as well. So I do need to keep rolling. It's still dangerous. Getting the Wukong is huge because it gives attack speed, right? That's the most important heavenly bonus. That is the attack speed. That is the broken one. You win the game for free with that one. We have this Tictician's Crown as well. Looking good. Tictician's Crown allows us to play Dragon Lord. Uh, believe it or not, we're not taking Wukong. We're taking the other thing, if we can. He took it, so we take Wukong. Ah, he took it. Okay, I, I think I have to roll down here, right? I need two-star Soraka. Like, all of these units make a difference. Two-star Diana. Uh, Lee Sin, not really needed. Keep it a stack. I could go for Dragon Lord. <laughs> Dragon Lord gives the gives the guys also attack speed ramp, which is pretty good. And I have a Tactician's Crown, so I might actually be able to fit that. To the <laughs> the ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going straight to level 9. Like a freaking Babus. I think we're going straight to level 9. Let me tell you that. Ah, are we actually going straight to level 9? Let me think. Also, my Wukong is locked out. No, actually, I think I'm a genius. He's going into the back line. Oh no, he's just walking around. <laughs> okay, we just won a fight without Wukong participating. I think we're strong enough. I think we could go level 9. I would like a 2-star Nico. A 2-star Nico will give us more health, which is very good. Every time you 2-star these units, the, their, their individual heavenly bonus gets improved. Encounter. Grants a support item, which lasts for 3 rounds. Zeke's or Locket? I would say it's a Locket. Look at this more tankiness, right? There's an Udir. I think we'll just play Udir because I think I have an open slot, no? Uh, not really. Alright, so the problem is... The 
problem is this freaking Kha'Zix is useless, right? Oh, he's 3-star everything. It's kind of strong. It's kind of strong. I know this thing gives stats, but the stats are so low. The stats are so low that it really won't make a difference, usually. And I have to, um... <laughs> I have to 3k damage void spawn. That's not bad. That doesn't seem bad, guys. I do want to go level 9 to be able to find that really alright. And the Rakan. Rakan is gonna be the big guy. Rakan is gonna be the big guy. Thing is, I don't really need this guy anymore. Uh, Lee Sin is also not really needed. I still need these two stars, bro. This girl is not needed. I still need these two stars, man. Especially Malphi gives a lot of resistances, right? It's also a key component. Uh, I should put the like, Malphite in the back, actually. Just keep the... Keep, so, so we have access. Ah, I missed one. It's fine. Am I leveling here? Probably right. We're already being greedy. Oh, that's really good. Uh, we're not gonna go for three star Wukong. It's impossible. It's impossible, guys. We're already being greedy. There we go. That's good positioning. Now these guys have all access to walking forward. And this guy's useless anyway. And we can just keep him in the middle, which is usually gonna be a good shroud. That is good. This guy is really good, really strong though. A three star Nar, but he just gets freaking surrounded. He just gets surrounded. We don't have heal reduction, by the way, guys. We do not have heal reduction. We might actually lose this. Come on, please win it. Please win it. Soraka, you can do it. Nice, good job. <laughs> As this comp will never... I'll never get tired of this comp, man. Like, this comp is just too fun. Ehwe is really good on this comp, by the way, as well. So I'm not so opposed to keeping him. I think playing the Lissandra is a little bit too greedy. Ah, there we go. Legends are told in word and deed. Okay, sell this guy. We're about to marinate. One of them is turning. The other one I messed up is gonna turn next turn. Oh, he has a two-star Udir. Level nine, zero gold. Two-star Udir, two-star Irelia. Seven Story Weaver. We might actually die. <laughs> Never mind, what? No, I like, I know it seems like I was pretending. Like I thought that. Uh, nah, I can't believe it, man. I cannot believe we just won this so easily. Two-star Udir, good items. Two-star Irelia, some of the best items. <laughs> this is hilarious, guys. Absolutely hilarious. I love this comp so much. Uh, the reason why Huey is good for this comp, guys, is because what he does is... Um, he freaking... Hold up. Pretty sure I'm supposed to do this. But now we can't walk forward. Legends are told in word and deep. Whatever, I probably win anyway. I, I want the Kha'Zix in the middle, because the Kha'Zix is the most use useless unit. Kha'Zix is the most useless unit, and the unit here in the middle cannot walk forward, right? The unit here in the middle cannot walk forward. And Kha'Zix is the most useless, so he's the Randuins guy. Usually I give him Randuins. Could give Soraka Randuins as well. Like, you have too many units, right? Not everyone can walk forward. That's the problem, right? So you want to put the least useful melee unit to not walk forward, right? To be stuck in the in the back. So I think Kha'Zix is uh, the best for that. That guy's freaking useless, man. There we go. This is really good. 
the red buff is the thing that you need. <laughs> the reason why Irelia is the best carry for this comp is because um, the void spawns deal physical damage and Irelia has armor pen built in. So she can just armor pen everyone and now she will be able to also heal reduce everyone and we just win the game for free. I mean, I just keep our high roll. I don't know, so you know. A little bit unlucky there. On that. A little bit unlucky on those, because these are useless, right? I mean, honestly, it's not that bad to have a shroud, right? Just shroud it up, right? I think it's just shroud, bro. Because shroud gives 60 health, right, to the whole team. And shrouding up the entire enemy team is pretty good. But we only have two Void Links. We might not win. We need at least one more Void Link. And then we are guaranteed to win, I think. I think you can't lose with triple... I mean, honestly, I don't think I can lose. Like, usually at level 8, you need triple Void Link. But since I reached level 9, and I have a 2-star Irelia, and a 2-star Huey, the reason why Huey is also a good addition to this team, usually you wouldn't play him. But because I am... Oh, there's this. <laughs> I forgot about the last augment, bro. I totally forgot about it. Imagine you could get a Radiant Z0 portal. They should do that. They should put that in the game. A Radiant... I mean, we know what it is, right? We know what it is. Very obviously, guys. Very obviously, we know what it is. It is not very close here, either. It's just extremely obvious what we want here. And then we will just reforge this uh, this hodge. <laughs> cool. So usually you would not play Huey, right? But because I found so many immediately, and I have yet to find the Rakan, you want to play Rakan for three altruists, which is going to give your entire team twenty-five um, armor and magic resistance. You actually, and it's going to give you um, it's going to give you Dragon Lord as well for the attack speed on the on the idiots. Uh, you should also not play Diana until level 10, but I have the Titician's Crown, right? So Diana would not be on the fight. It would be Rakan and Huey you would never play. You would play Diana over Huey, but the Huey is very good. Because Huey's ult also has an AoE heal. And you're hitting, of course, a lot of units because you have so many little void cockroaches, right? That you're healing with it. Guys, this is the most fun comp in the game. It's just so fun. Print is here for 2-star Rakan. Not needed. Just want to reach level 9. 2-star Rakan is not even needed. Just want to reach level 9. Again, here, that item. Open it ASAP. Oh, look, I'm a genius. Oh, no, no, no. You can't print during this. You pr you can't print during this. I, I I can't take out the Malphite for a fight, right? Because I need to... Um, I, I, w I want a 2-star Malphite. But we just won't have it. It's fine. Don't you play Lissandra to print more anvils? I did that some games, yeah. It can be viable, but I think this game it was it would have been too greedy. I should have gone Ginsu's here on Irelia. And just play uh, Ginsu's on Irelia, right? Because uh, the game might not even last three more turns. But I just don't care because it's more fun to print more thingies, right? To get more Z0 portals. <laughs> and I think we are in a spot where we can't lose, right? We have this guy, this girl. It's just too much carry carry potential because remember this guy is getting so much AP from Heavenly as well like let's see how much AP he has 130 it's not bad it's really not bad uh, okay uh, uh, okay maybe I needed the Ginsu's Ginsu's on Irelia is very crazy I hope I am fine I think I'm fine though. This is just too strong, yeah. That Irelia can bypass, see? She bypasses frontline. That's why she's so good too. You get stuck at the tanky frontline of Tom Kench, but she just kills the bar. But it, it does look scary, bro. It does look scary. With just two Z0 portals, it does look scary, guys. It really does. It really does look scary. Play Rakan over Ribbon. You're right. You're absolutely right. I think I gave Riven the item though, and I'm able to level, not yet. I gave Riven the item, but I could remove it. 
Oh yeah, we got very unlucky, guys. We got really, really, really unlucky with these. We could go for some magic pen. Obsidian cleaver. Magic pen for my for these guys. And this. And Rakan. I mean, I, you could also just go lock it, right? You could also just go lock it. Okay, we're against a ghost. We should be able to win against ghost. I should have definitely um, played uh, Rakan over Riven. Just remove the item off of her. We have definitely done that. But against ghost, we should dominate. It's a little bit scary. And it's a little bit close. Luckily, we're about to get a huge spike with Rakan. And we're getting another um, we're getting another item. We're getting another item. Please give me a ZZ rod. Okay, we got the needlessly big gem. Honestly, might even be the best one out of the remaining ones. Because that is just crazy. Okay, where does the Rakan go? I do want the Rakan in the thing. I'll just put her in the back. She's the least important out of the units. Watch out. Do this. <laughs> of the Zaya. Gonna do the correct thing. I think I'm gonna give the locket to the ZZ Rods. Okay, we just got much stronger. We got close against his ghost. But I think now it should be close, right? I should move my um my 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 thingies, right? My shrouds as well, but I think. We're good to go, guys. The Ascension Gem is gonna pop. And now we just get bonus damage. <laughs> guys, this will never... Like, this is so fun. This is just so cool. This is so fun, guys, man. Again, they are gonna literally... Like, literally... When, when I upload this, it's already been nerfed. A long time ago. This does not exist anymore in this state. But... Yeah, so I, I wanna use it as much as possible before that happens. Maybe we'll get another game today. We'll see. Subscribe ring Haitian bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. I'll see you next time. Peace.